Hello everyone, welcome to Sakadia.com. I'm your host Ananu Rehman and today we are talking about the muscular development. Now we are at the third section of this presentation and in this section we'll be talking about the muscles of head and the muscles of limb. So this section is further subdivided into head musculature and limb musculature. Let's get into the section and let's see what do we have. So first of all the head musculature. The all voluntary muscles of the head are derived from the paraxial mesoderm. So only the voluntary muscles of the head, voluntary muscles are those muscles which are under the control of the human body, under the, under the will of the human body and you can control them however you want to. This includes the musculature of tongue, the musculature of eye and the associated and those muscles which are associated with the pharyngeal arches. Exception is the muscle of iris which is derived from the optic cup ectoderm. So a very important high yield point, the muscles of iris are not uh, originate, they, they do not originate from the paraxial mesoderm instead they originate from the optic cup ectoderm. <coughs> Patterns of the muscle formation in head are directed by the connective tissue elements which are derived from the neural crest cells. This has been discussed in the previous section. The patterning of muscle in the human body is actually determined by the connective tissue elements. In the head region, the connective tissue elements originate from the neural crest cells. So now we move on to the limb musculature. So, while talking about the limb musculature, it begins in the seventh week of development. There is a condensation of mesenchyme near the uh, limb buds. This, concent uh, this condensation of mesenchyme is derived from the dorsolateral cells of the somites that migrate into the limb buds. We talked about this earlier as well, a somite is divided into ventral and a dorsal portion. The ventral portion that the ventral portion that lies towards the abdominal wall and the dorsal portion that lies towards the vertebral column. Uh, the, do, uh, the ventral portion was forming the sclerotome. Um, the dorsal portion was forming the dermatome. Now the myotome was formed by the um, in between the dorsal and the ventral portions and cells from the dorsolateral uh, myotome they migrated towards uh, this uh, mesenchymal bud which was formed in uh, front of the limb bud. Now with extension of the limb buds the muscle tissue splits into the flexor and extensor compartments. So flexion is the condition in which the angle between the uh, proximal and the distal portion on the fore and the hind limb is decreased. Extension is a process in which the angle between the fore and the hind limb is uh, increased or it's the normal state. So the upper limb buds they lie opposite to the lower four lumbar in upper two sacral segments initially. As soon as the buds form, the ventral prime <coughs> rami from the appropriate spinal nerves now penetrate into the mesenchyme so that they may be able to innervate uh, the muscles. So at first, each ventral ramus enters with isolated dorsal and ventral branches. So initially, each ramus that was entering the mesenchyme had a separate a dorsal branch and a ventral branch. Soon uh, they join to form the dorsal and ventral nerves. So initially the uh, nerve ramus, the spinal nerve ramus that entered the mesenchyme had a isolated dorsal and an isolated ventral branch. So they were completely isolated, not uh, related to each other. However, so, uh, with development, they tend to join each other to form the dorsal and the ventral nerves. Now, the radial nerve 
radial nerve a very important nerve of the upper limb it supplies the extensor compartment it originates from the dorsal branches only so it origin uh, the radial nerve which is the nerve of the extensor compartment of the upper limb it only supply it only originates from the dorsal branches so the ulnar nerve and the median nerves which supply the flexor compartment there are two nerves that are supplying the flexor compartment in the upper limb these are the ulnar nerves and the median nerves they originate from the uh, ventral branches only so spinal nerves these help in the differentiation motor innervation of the limb musculature we talked about this earlier they are very important in differentiation and development and they help to innervate the limb motorly to help uh, they help to control the activities of the limb they also provide sensory information for the dermatomes so in this section we talked about how uh, muscles of the various regions were formed we talked about the head musculature and the limb musculature the head musculature how the voluntary muscles of the head were formed and innervated and what caused the differentiation of the muscles always remember the connective tissue elements are responsible for the differentiation of the musculature uh, throughout the human body then we talked about the muscles of the limb how a mesenchymal um, ridge or mesenchymal proliferation started to occur in front of the limb but how cells from the uh, dorsal lateral tip of the myotome migrated into this mesenchymal proliferation and how muscles of the limb were formed we also discussed how the spinal nerve initially entered the mesenchyme how it initially had only the dorsal and ventral branches which uh, dorsal and ventral segments which combine to form the dorsal and ventral branches we talked about how um, the radial nerve which is the nerve of extensor compartment of the upper limb originated uh, from the dorsal branches and we talked about how ulnar and median nerves which are the nerves of the flexor compartment originate from the ventral branches now uh, we saw how the spinal nerves helped in differentiation uh, and motor innervation of the limb musculature uh, we also saw how the, they provided the sensory information for dermatomes these were the smaller sections of this presentation i hope this helps you to build up your knowledge about this uh, subject as the uh, clinical correlates are very near and i'm very excited for them hope you are too uh, for further details keep watching sakadia.com